What's up you guys, welcome back. I'm gonna take you through a day of what I'm doing for quarantine to keep myself busy. And it's gonna be a hell of a day or what's left of it. I began this morning with a run. I was lifting up car batteries in the yard. I'm just a sexy boy. Doing all kinds of different exercises, but uh, now I feel great. And I'm actually going to go do some filming at the shop and I'm gonna take you with me. First off, I gotta pack all this shit. All right, so here's some of what I'm bringing. Sony A A6400. GH5, A7 Mark III, whole bunch of batteries. This is actually the first time I charged it. I gotta ship out clippers to someone who wanna give away. Uh, visit the shop, print the labels to, to ship the clippers. Uh, film a uh, proper way to clean your clippers, film self-cut, uh, film uh, a walkthrough of the shop. Okay, I gotta hurry because I gotta go meet Chad at the shop and I'm still not even packed. Yeah, I was gonna actually vlog with my phone the whole time, but I just decided that sometimes you just can't beat a GoPro. God, my garage is a mess. This will be my next video, cleaning this thing out. You guys remember last time? Be honest, did you guys ever think that there would be this much stuff involved in just filming a handful of YouTube videos? It's so easy to just veg out on videos and not think about what went into them, but... I live about 10 miles away from my shop. Uh, we've been closed now for over a week. It feels weird to wake up every day and not have to go to the barber shop. And um, you know, I just hope that you guys are out there making good decisions with your quarantine and coming up with you know some new set of skills or, or at least working on some goals. See, like a goal that I had all along uh, was someday to go full time on YouTube, right? Well, if anything, man, this week has been kind of like a dry run of what that would feel like because I've been just working pretty hard. I know it's it's kind of hard to see it, um, but I, I, you gotta you gotta get these videos scheduled to upload like down the road something. That way, you can do as much little stuff as you want to do along the way. But like I have fell so far behind with everything else, it just feels good to catch up on something, you know. Well, if there's one good thing about Corona, it's that at least the cops ain't pulling people over. Uh, actually, I've heard tell that the way they pull people over is they pull up alongside of them and they go, and that's it. They don't want to get sick. <laughs> I don't blame them. Like one thing I really miss is just being in the shop and like talking with people and joking and laughing and watching TV beside each other. And, you know, I I'm so happy to actually go hang out with Chad today because uh, if you guys got a Chad in your shop, you would totally understand. This dude is just, I, I've talked about it before, but he's just down, you know what I mean? Whatever whatever I've ever needed help with, if I call him, he's there like that. That's my man. Well, I guess that's an essential business. People need to septic tanks clean. You know, being down here for so long has, has completely spoiled me. In fact, you know, the neighborhood I grew up in, I still remember when a, when a friend of my father's bought a BMW. Everybody from all around the neighborhoods came to, you know, kind of gaze at this BMW. And it was like a Z4. It wasn't even like a, a high-end vehicle. But like now, see, we go, we got, we got Lamborghinis, we got uh, Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Maseratis. I mean, we, we have probably, you know, some of the most expensive cars in the world come down here to Naples, Florida. And it's just kind of desensitizing to you after a while. I used to just kind of drool over them and just love to look at them. And now I'm like, yeah, whatever, man, you know, God bless them. And some people, you know, some people get upset with other people's success, man. But like the way I see it is I love seeing success. If you did it, that means I could go do it. I feel like I am doing it, you know, and I bet you guys are making progress too. All right, we pulling in. Uptown, baby. Uptown, baby. All right, you guys, I really can't believe the amount of crap that has built up over the year. Now, mind you, Mind you, I've only had this business for about a year, 
and I just can't even tell you how many companies have sent me things, how many extra stuff I wound up with. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely have a lot of giveaways coming up. This is something that I haven't mentioned on the channel a lot, but I actually like to use, if people have hair that they wanna wear messy, I've been using um, powder, powder stylers. So like this one is called the ceviche or something like that, but it's a really cool product. I, I actually don't even sell them in the shop. I just have them here to use on clients. But if you open that up, it almost looks just like a, like any other powder you just shake a little bit into the hair mess it up and it gives it a lot of texture it's an awesome product i have to show it to you guys when i get another client i really can't believe the stuff i have been able to find in my station it's stuff that i've literally been looking for for like a year like i gotta be more organized i'm always telling you guys to be more organized but it's me who needs it <laughs> okay you guys these are my uh storage containers that also double as little seats for people to wait on but Look at how much crap I got in here, man. But the main reason, the main reason they're in there is because my hurricane shutters are in there. And they're this giant thing that you might not need in other states, but every business here has to have them just in case we get another hurricane. All right, this is one of my favorite things. I just lice all the crap out of this thing. But uh, this is what I keep all my clippers inside my drawer in. And if I can find something similar, I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> throwing these out man these are actually really fun to use and uh, it's been something I've been using and the other thing you should try to keep is try to keep this because I'm going to show you how to properly store your tools uh, in a weird situation like this I really can't believe this I just found an N95 respirator mask from back when I was actually sanding the shop <laughs> little victories man I gotta be honest man I feel like a little bit ashamed that I, I didn't remember I had so many of these things I have I have so much stuff uh, to both give away and to to use I mean it's like every time I open one of these drawers I was just tossing stuff in absentmindedly and then I come to find out that you know I have all this stuff I don't even know what half of this is like what the hell is this thing This is uh, the amount of stuff I'm taking out of here and a lot of it's gonna get given away. Um, finally got my station clean to the point where I'm ready to show it to you. You guys ready? Okay, Chad, you ready to get the cameras out and go to town on these videos? Okay. <laughs> Don't sound so enthused. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> He's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I just got here, obviously just cleaned this whole thing up, but I want you guys to check out some of the stuff I really like to use. All right, so I have, I have a little bit of organization to still do, but basically when I'm working, I brought most of my stuff home, but I put my clippers in each one of these pods and I plug them in inside the desk. So this way, when I close this, there's no cords hanging anywhere, nothing you know out of the way or anything like that. But I have all my straight razors on a magnet, so what I could basically do is I could just take them off and uh, they can just hang out right there. They're just in a covered thing. I actually have a couple magnets all around the whole station. Not much has really changed since I did my last station video, uh, but you know, we're, this is all still working out good. We actually route this one in to feed the power and uh, you know, I still got my light and stuff like that. So, uh, but so anyways, all that being said, what I'm actually here to do today is I want to show you guys how to properly clean, disinfect and oil. And if need be store your clippers so that when you do get back to the shop, they're not destroyed. Uh, Pelican case, which is cool. I can lock it. I can put all my stuff in here. And uh, for the most part, reasonably watertight. All right, so I brought this stuff to film my self cut video, which is obviously a mess. And the rest of the stuff is to help me actually film it. All right, you guys, welcome back. I'm in the shop today on quarantine. I've done a lot of extensive cleaning in here and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly sanitize your tools and your equipment so that when you go back to the shop, you're ready. Everything is ready to go and everything is clean as it could possibly be. How's that look, Chad? Good. You guys, it's actually been a pretty long day of filming, pretty eventful, just flew the drone and did all this stuff. Got my man Chad in the house who helped me film the self-cut 
and uh, how to clean your clippers video and stuff like that. So it is time to go home and begin the editing process. So the reason why I went to the shop was actually twofold today. Um, one of it was obviously to film the YouTube videos, but the other thing was I'm going to recycle a lot of this footage and I'm going to actually use it to begin my advertisement. So. I just showed off like how I'm cleaning everything and everything I'm doing and I have that video uh, and that footage to share when we go back live, when we're back open and things are good again. Um, I want to show my clients the extra precautions that we're taking so I think uh, I feel really good about it. Plus I got some really cool drone footage of the shot. Alright, I love you now. Alright, honey. I love you too. Alright, bye. Alright, bye, bye. Well, that was my Nana. She's like uh, my, my backbone, my rock in life. I don't know what I would do without her. But uh, back at the house, about to go do some edit. So yeah, let's go. There's a lot of stuff in this piece of crap garage that is constantly messy. I'm gonna do another video where I clean up this garage, find some stuff to give away, and maybe even announce it right during that video. But damn, this place is a mess. Wait a minute, before you guys go, I wanna invite you to hit that bell, hit subscribe, and stick around because we're gonna go live all the time. It's far more interactive, it's a lot more intuitive, you'll learn a lot more, and uh, we'll go through this video and many others as we continue to grow. We build off each lesson from the last week, so don't miss out on that opportunity. It's free, it's fun, and we're gonna have a good time and a lot of guests, and we do giveaways. So I encourage you guys, hit subscribe. Other than that, man, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.